Aloha Fragrance fans! As you can see, there is a brand new test collection here in front of you from Bath & Body Works White Barn Candle Company. This is the Aloha Hawaii Candle Collection. Um, it is just now entering test stores, um, sort of a collection that took uh, most folks, you know, um, vloggers and, and bloggers kind of by surprise. Um, we just learned about it within the past few days for the most part. Um, and it's in test stores now. Um, now, when I checked it out, it looked like this may um, be test replacing the Destinations candle collection that I just did all the videos on, um, you know, the 12 candles from around the world. Um, I could be completely wrong. They test you know, different collections in different ways. Um, but uh, when I checked it out, there were almost no destination candles left in the store, um, aside from a few Greek Isles, um, some Havana Heat, and gosh, that might have been it. Um, it was pretty much entirely sold out, maybe a few Bermuda breaks or something like that, but everything else was sold out. Uh, they did bring in Meet Me in Tahiti in the old Destinations Collection packaging, which apparently is going to be sold uh, I think next Saturday, sort of the Super Saturday, twelve twenty one, um, as a ten dollar candle, similar to how they had Better Cream Mint on uh, Black Friday for ten dollars. Um, anyhow, without further ado, let's just dive right into these. This is I'm um, just gonna be a quick overview, same way I did with the Destinations video. I'll just give you a quick uh, overview of the candles. I'll read you the notes, show you the notes, um, and then in the next video or two. Um, I'll break them down and do like, you know, in-depth sniff reviews and comparisons. Um, but I wanted to get this out there because I know folks um, like I would be are sort of chomping at the bit to see what these are, what they mean, and what's going on with them. So right now it's a test line, test collection. Um, just because Destinations is kind of clearing out doesn't mean it's necessarily gone or a failure. Um, when Lakeside and when the Italian line first were in test phase, um, they kind of had a round one of testing. Uh, they didn't really change anything for the most part with those collections, except, you know, cutting a few. Uh, <clears throat> and then the test stores got, you know, new shipments in when they went wide. So um, just because it's disappearing doesn't mean it won't be coming out sometime, you know, in the new year. But anything is really possible because they've also had test collections that have completely failed, such as Forest Collection or the Eucalyptus Mint Collection. So uh, I don't really know, you know, I don't have any sort of inside scoop, but um, maybe some other folks will be able to shed some light on that for us. But let's get this. Uh, checked out here. So first up, pineapple palm grass. So kind of, you know, with all the tropical collections they have, it was surprising to me that they are doing another essentially tropical collection. Um, oh, one thing I failed to mention that I should mention uh, is that the Tropical Escapes collection is coming back. So Destinations, Hawaii, whatever, is not replacing that. Um, there were seven candles in the, yeah, let me actually quickly just tell you that since that's also sort of some new information. Um, the Tropical Escapes is sort of the classic, uh, returns every year um, at this point in you know the January, right up to the semi-annual sale uh, releases, essentially. Um, the, sorry, no, I was saying, the Tropical Escapes uh, comes out every year, um, includes candles like Island of Margarita, Oceanside, Caribbean Escape, Beach Cabana, Peach Bellini, Coconut Leaves. I think it was just those, what, three, four, five, six, or seven right now. Maybe one I'm leaving out, um, but nothing new, nothing super exciting, kind of everything you know about. Um, I will say, though, I do or did um, enjoy the labels on those, and I purchased just one. I purchased Coconut Leaves um, because I love it, and I don't really like much of the other ones there. I love Beach Cabana, but I don't really need it right now. But to show you guys um, the labeling, I just think it's, it's I kind of like it. It's a little bit, it's like real images, like more, a little bit more, you know, sophisticated or classy. Uh, images and then with just a really sort of um, kind of cutesy um, cursive font in there and the font uh, is embossed and raised so again coconut leaves it's your standard regular lids um, but nice packaging that's not all white wax this one is white wax but um, there are other colors of wax in that collection so I assume that one's gonna be going wide um, you know w without a doubt so right now we've seen destinations Aloha we've seen fresh picked sweet shop and Tropical Escape. So my question is, I'm not sure when or if there will be the White Barn collection. Um, you know, nothing has been out in gold lids. We haven't seen, uh, you know, spring or green grass or freesia or any of the more floral um, or, you know, more um, in-depth or, or, or complicated uh, blends. Um, 
come out, you know, sort of the returning favorites or some new ones. But uh, it's a little early, of course, for <laughs> any of this. Um, but that might be more of a round two sort of spring, whereas this is kind of like the Escape from Winter collection, maybe. Um, anyhow, back to the candles at hand. So Pineapple Palm Grass. Now these labels, I kind of like these labels. They're, they kind of, you know, they're all just images of stock photos, I suppose, of, you know, images that, that sort of remind you, I, I hope, of Hawaii. Um, really nice, intense wax colors. Um, and then the label, the names, um, it's kind of almost like a sticker on on there. It's it's part of the label, um, but it's a little bit embossed. Um, and the background and the little sort of florals on there just give it a little bit of kind of like a a tiki or island sort of flair. So overall, I kind of like it. It seems a little bit classic. Like it reminds me, I don't know. I mean, not that '80s is classic, but it seems it seems a little bit old school in that sense. Kind of like you the you know, kind of like the Disney World Polynesian kind of interpretation of what island uh, life or island collections look like. So that's sort of what I get from this. And I think it's kind of nice. It's it's bright, it's colorful, but it's not cartoony. The notes on this one, pineapple palm grass are a fresh tropical fragrance inspired by the beautiful pineapple fields and exotic green foliage of the Hawaiian islands. That is that. So again, I'm not going to give you my first impressions or my in-depth sniffs quite yet. Um, that will be in videos to come shortly. Next one is Lanikai Coconut with a floral there. This wax is kind of a, like a dirty gray, really. It's it's sort of like the the color that, that white candles turn when the, you've burned halfway through them and they've gotten that sort of sooty look. So they knew, knew better than to start out with bright white, I suppose. Notes on this one. Be transported by a blend of sweet coconut milk. So sweet coconut milk, not coconut meat or coconut water, but coconut milk. Sea water and palm tree leaves inspired by Hawaii's beautiful Lanikai Beach. All right, let's keep moving along here. Sorry for the, the the darkness here. It's kind of crazy. It's like it's snowing outside, and and we're talking about island waters here. It's a little bit not so. Island waters love the wax on this. It's really a deep teal, kind of green ocean water, um, which is perfect for island waters. Notes on this one. Dive into an invigorating mix of water notes, lush green palm leaves, and a hint of fresh cut bamboo. Um, so water notes, that's, that's keeping it really basic. So we'll have to kind of really dig deep when we're sniffing these. Hawaiian hibiscus, which is with such a pretty picture there. And then a really bright, almost not neon, it's showing up a little neon here, but really just got a bright pop of kind of intense magenta, um, passion pink there. The notes, uh, experience an island getaway with the fragrant hibiscus, Hawaii's native flower. Combined with creamy coconut and jasmine notes, which jasmine makes its way into island florals quite often. Three more to go. All right, so rainforest sugarcane, which is a deep, sort of a, actually a true green, like a true evergreen almost. Rainforest sugarcane with a waterfall there. This one reads, da -da -da, venture into Hawaii's rainforest with an intriguing mixture of fresh lime, raw sugarcane, and rare vanilla orchid. So they're, they're giving some interesting mixes here. They're really, they're really sort of venturing out. White orchid lay, which is a bright green wax, matching the, the green in the water there and the palm trees, white orchid lay. Notes, a lay, a chain of beautiful flowers that is, Hawaiian, that is a Hawaiian symbol of love, inspire these exquisite notes of lush orchid petals and a hint of melon, okay? And finally, last but not least, Black Sands. This is like a dark gray, and it's got a little bit of a blue to it, um, but it's similar to sort of that, like the, the black tie colored wax, um, a little bit more of a blue to it um, that's not really showing up here on the um, camera though. So Black Sands reads, visit Hawaii's dramatic black sand beach with an unforgettable blend of ocean mist and exotic amber finished with creamy cedar wood. So that is, I believe they have black beaches, um, of course, from uh, volcanoes, from lava, um, lava rock or lava stone, um, grinding down into sand. And that's where we get that. So let's just put these back up, give a quick visual overview, and then that will be a wrap. So again, I really know nothing um, about this collection aside from what I saw and what I've sniffed here. Um, so I will say sort of just a quick preview to keep this video short. Um, they seem to be mostly for the, like basically brand new blends. Um, 
it's always exciting to smell brand new candles and, and, you know, it's sort of like that honeymoon phase of you like them at first, usually, and then maybe you realize, oh, it's a little boring or it's a little similar to this or, you know, it's, it's not something you love. But for the most part, my first impression, my gut impression of these is that they're pretty nice. Um, unique blends, not, um, not exactly what you'd expect with some of them. You know, they don't come off as perfumey or overly floral. Um, they're kind of a good mix of what you would expect things like hibiscus or waters or co or you know the lani kai coconut to be so somewhat tropical but definitely a lot of sort of more fresh watery notes um as well as some interesting sort of new florals that we haven't really experienced before with bath and Bite Arcs candles so um uh, i'm actually looking forward to burning these i think they'll be pretty nice um but that's all i'm going to say for now to keep this video short the quick overview you can check out um higher quality um, individual photos of these candles of the labels that I will post on the Touch the Fire Twice Facebook. So go ahead and like uh, Touch the Fire Twice over there, which is facebook.com slash Touch the Fire Twice. Um, go ahead and like that and check the uh, the photos out, uh, the more high quality since I know the lighting isn't perfect here. Um, the photos will be there again. And then in the next couple of days, I will do more in-depth reviews, probably two videos to cut it down to maybe four and three candles each per video of the in-depth sniff reviews and comparison because there are similarities to uh, other scents that you do know um, but again I don't think maybe one um, duplicate but for the most part these are new blends which is kind of impressive for Bath & Body Works at this point so that's all I've got for now um, I also do have I'll have reviews coming up again uh, of some of the other candles that were added to the Sweet Shop and Fresh Pit collections that I purchased recently you may have seen some of those photos that I added to the Facebook group uh, and then I promise I will still have my winter Christmas picks uh, video coming up before winter goes away. So um, it'll be a little bit late, later than I expected with all these new ones coming in. But, um, you know, the, the breaking fun news is, is always interesting uh, to see and to get out to the masses. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have questions, hit me up below or reach out on the Facebook uh, community page. And I will look forward to talking to you then. All right. Take care.